Hi everyone, this is Kirsty, and today I wanted to share with you the felt st a felt story about the mittens. This is traditionally a Ukrainian folk tale, um, but there is also a picture book by Jan Barrett, um, which is really popular as well if you wanted to check that out. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Nicky and he had asked his grandmother to knit him a pair of beautiful mittens as white as the snow. His grandmother knitted his mittens. And then one day as he's playing through the forest, he lost one of his beautiful white mittens. The mitten blended in with the snow. That means it camouflaged. We couldn't really see it. But a mole came around and saw the mitten and thought, oh, this is gonna be a cozy place to sleep. Once the mole was all burrowed into the mitten, nice and warm, a rabbit decided to join him. And the rabbit thought, oh, it's so nice and toasty in here. After a little while, a owl saw the mitten and wanted to join the friends inside to keep warm. The owl flew into the mitten, got nice and cozy with his friends. After a short while, a badger came over and wanted to come into the mitten. The mitten was getting pretty cramped, but everyone was cozy and warm. After a small amount of time, a hedgehog decided to climb into the mitten. He was nice and toasty and he watched out so he didn't prick any of his friends. A fox was walking through the forest and was getting cold and decided to climb on into the mitten too. The mitten was getting pretty tight and then a friend from the forest, a great big bear, decided to climb into the mitten as well. The last animal to walk out of the forest found the mitten was a mouse. He climbed on in, but now the mitten was way too tight and the mitten split open and all of the animals fell out into the snow. Whoa! Everybody tumbled out into the snow. Nikki had noticed he had lost his mitten and had asked his grandmother in the meantime if she would knit him another. She did knit a beautiful white mitten to go along with his other one. But as the snow started to melt and as the frost began to turn to water, he discovered the mitten. When Nikki was walking through the forest, he found the lost mitten. He was so excited. He brought it home to his grandmother to show her that he had found it. He never knew what happened to the mitten and he never knew who stayed in it to keep warm. But he was just happy to find his lost mitten and have two mittens. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great day. Bye-bye.